wants to be deep, wants to play an Starting up and down the right court nail. game. Starting right now. Higgins with four, Higgins with two, Higgins in the lane, blocked at the rim. Didn't have the length, didn't have the size advantage. Nice job of keeping your position defensively by the big. Carr and the foul! It's a two-point game. Cut it to 12 at halftime with that bucket. Did not travel on the road again until the new year. Until next like year. At BC, January 2nd. Andrew Carr with the exclamation point. Put the Neeks up 10. Nice. On Hill. Watch this. There's a little pressure. And, and no pressure on the basketball. And you don't Can't protect. shake Aberdeen, a premier defender. Carr against the freshman, Houck. Houck falls. Carr turns. He's in double figures. Keller back to Carr. Shot clock down to three. He's tied up. Carr gets it off and beats the shot clock. A dozen for Andrew Carr. Scarlet Knight struggled on the defensive glass last time out. Griffiths, the baseline drive. He turns it over. There comes Wade the other way. Hildreth so it off the bounce. Of six from the field. Three of four from beyond the arc. Efton Reed is checked in. And Cam Hildreth never checked out. Well, we have, but also this way for us to see a build on culture. And we spoke with the coaching staff. Staff, They said, look, we want to try to build it the old school way. Off the hands of Tariq Francis. And this is this beautiful execution right here. Under the radar right now, Clemson. Now, Brad Brown now, uh, that team right there is dangerous. As we take a look at a beautiful transition offense. He's into double figures now off of this slam, off the beautiful feed from Boopy Miller. Where the zone doesn't get a chance to set. Driving kick, and Salas lines it up. Rebound, Carr. the zone here, screening the top of the zone, which allows Boopy Miller to get into the gaps, and then he finds the open man. When you... See the defense collapse. This is what happened. The flush from Carr. It's just a simple screen to screener. And Versatility in this Wake Forest team. Not depending on any one particular player. A lot of guys can get you going. So far is Carr. And one for Andrew Carr. Elbow jumper. And the foul on Caleb Scott. Four on two. Boopy. Somehow the rebound collected by Carr to the basket. He's a little bit of a swashbuckler type. He likes to take risks. And Carr one on one on Barron, and he finishes. And looking for their seventh straight win and one and zero in ACC. Virginia Tech will look for their biggest comeback of the season. And then Carr right to the rim, and just like the first half, it starts with Wake out in front. Seven minutes left in this ACC battle. Salas back door, slams it home, Hunter Salas, a rim rocker. He's more efficient offensively, and his shooting numbers, 10 percentage points higher this year than they were last year at Florida State. Carr finds the open man, it's Hildred, and it's a three ball. Coaches are going to have to be very selective about the lineups. With the foul trouble presented to both teams here in the first half as we move to the second 20 minutes. Carr able to get it back, and Carr is going on a rim bender. He said he felt like it would be a sin not to. Seven on the shot clock, and Andrew Carr found the loose change. And that is not exactly the way they drew up that play. Warren didn't get any help. Bo Bowen lost it on the way up and saved by Carr. Hildred splits to the rack. Talked about Florida State being able to force the turnovers, but this time Wake Forest gets it, and nobody stops Hildreth. He just splits two defenders, and there's nobody. offense in front of him. You know he's going to pick on Beekman. He'd run something right at him. Tane Murray's in the game, and there's Carr stuffing it right through. Done. Picks up his second. I mean, another baseline out of bounds play in perfect execution by the Deeks. Six point game, Fredrickson. La for Reed, backdoor Carr to catch and flush. That is a great cut by Carr. A moment ago, here's Carr finishing off a nice pass from Reed. In traffic, scooped it up, won't go. Carr the rebound and one on the foul against Diara. 
so much of in transition. Transition defense is going to be a big deal for Louisville today. How about Carr showing off the shakes? Here's Carr using the shot fake. Sets and hits. Screen against Glenn. Andrew Carr picking up where he left off Tuesday when he had a career high 28. Leggett's had the hot hand all night. Carr, the rejection that time. Rake has to hurry. Carr corrals it, but a lot of time coming off the clock. Carr leans into it and hits it from three. Five-point game, 16.4 remaining. Better. Again, right here, almost the turnover. And you'll live with this if you're Jeff Capel. Again, great contest. You just don't wait for us to really build a wall with him and then try to get the ball out of his hands, keep him from going downhill. We try to get it to Carr for the rim bender for Wake. After that one. This just, you know, two things. There was no pressure. Fredrickson. Money. Carr backing down Dongo. Go right back to him. Dongo's already got that one foul. Carr drops it off to Reed. He waited for that big, big double. Well, what he what Carr had to wait for was Reed. Both bigs for Wake Forest to pass the ball extremely well. Here's the lob for Dongo. It's broken up. Miller the other way. Look at him go. Acceleration, turbo, and the basket. Here is Hager, who's really struggled from behind the line, but does a great job of doing that, getting the ball to the rim. Here's Miller with the clock now, and Carr for the dunk. And Miller takes the ball hard to the basket. NC State, I was going to say, really working hard at ball game so far. And Wake Forest, they started out quickly, but they're only two for their last ten. Make that three of their last eleven. This is one of the better teams, not only in the ACC, but nationally, especially since they got Efton Reed up. Efton Reed giving it off underneath for a slam by Andrew Carr. A couple of bigs get together there. Efton Reed going one-on-one. -on -one. You see Mark Mitchell coming over late. Mark Mitchell, who led Duke in scoring with 17 points on Saturday, now in double figures. The front line has been all the scoring. Oh, oh it's going to be a slam by Carr. You're talking about an easy basket. He has six points. Shot clock down to five. Really good recovery on the back row by Virginia. Carr as the buzzer sounds, knocks it down. Second leading scorer for the Panthers at ACC Freshman of the Year candidate. Sell is up top and the finish plus the foul for Andrew Carr. And again, Reed fouled out in just 15 minutes in the first meeting early last week between these teams. He got it down low, got it to on Mitchell. Really nice pass here. And a good job carving his angle. And look at that position. Two feet in the paint. Not McCain. Carr. Shot clock winding down. Carr spinning again. He is heated up in this second half. And he has prioritized defense for this young group. And they are dialed in defensively. Back door open. Davis denied. Now or never time for Wake Forest. Miller. A lot of time coming off the clock. Carr three hits it cuts the lead in half rejected by Carr. Reed kicks it out Miller quick pass Hildreth turned down the shot here's Salas back inside they go to Andrew Carr nice wrap around for the dunk by Reed in the blink of an eye it's a 7-0 run for the Deeks He's certainly a valuable assistant to Damon. Kapari back into the game, playing with those two fouls. Parr, the best rim protector for Wake. And this Wake Forest team is tough to pack it in on because they've got so many good shooters. Loose ball bounced right into the hands of Andrew Carr. Good fakes by Fredrickson. Carr, little bounce pass to oh. Marsh. Marsh right in the dunker spot. Again, with a chance to get as close as they have been in a long time if they can convert here. And they will. 